All right, guys, so check this out. What I've got leaning against the uh, beast itself. So what I've got is a Chris Boardman road bike. It's a full carbon frame. I bought this bike for less than half the price it would normally be going for. The reason being, it has some damage. But before we get to the damage, let's just uh, have a quick look at the bike itself. So over here at the front, we've got the uh, Shimano 105 shifters uh, with the Shimano 105 brake calipers. We've got the uh, Bontrager stem. We've got the uh, Mavic Axiom uh, race wheels with the uh, flat blades. Uh, we've got the uh, twin carbon cages. We've got the FSA prank set with the uh, Shimano 105 uh, front derailleur. The back, we've got the uh, Shimano 105 rear derailleur with the uh, 10 speed cassette and we've got the uh, Axiom race hub um, yeah so that's about it we've got the uh, Chris Boardman carbon fiber uh, seat post with the uh, physique uh, saddle so check out the uh, sound of this hub oh yeah that's the equivalent of <laughs> oh guys so what is the damage check this out we have a crack right here. It's underneath underneath the seat post. We have a crack going from here all the way to around here. So most people would think this bike needs to go into the into the trash can. But believe it or not, carbon fiber can actually be fixed and many times rather easily. I'm gonna show you the full video, the full repair of this bike, hopefully, inshallah. All right, so enough chit chat and let's get to the repair itself. So this is a kit that I bought off eBay um, from this seller. Check him out, he was very uh, helpful in guiding me to the correct kit that I would need for my repair. So what I've gone for is this kit here with, um, I've got two pieces of carbon fiber. I've gone for a unidirectional as you see uh, over here, which means the uh, fibers are going in one direction here. And I've gone for a 3K plane, as you see, uh, just to um, strengthen the whole thing at the end. And uh, it comes with the uh, epoxy resin. This is the glue that's gonna stick everything together. He's given me some heat shrink. He's given me some uh, sandpaper down there. This kit cost me just over 15 pounds, but you could get uh, cheaper kits with uh, just a single sheet of fiber, depending on, on your needs. So it's not necessarily the uh, actual fiber that costs so much more than uh, al aluminum. What makes a uh, carbon fiber frame so much more expensive is the amount of skill and uh, precision work that goes into it. Here we see uh, GCN's Oli visiting Lux Carbon Fiber Factory in Tunisia, where we see our sisters practically building these frames by hand. Uh, using hundreds of sheets of carbon fiber layer upon layer to build one frame so that's why carbon fiber frames are usually so much more expensive than uh, aluminium frames it's impressive all right so now it's time to prepare the area for the repair so we're gonna have to sand down this whole area here's the crack from here to there um, we've got about an inch above the crack and we're gonna go about an inch below the crack so from around here so we're going to lose all these decals half of that m and we're going to have about two inches uh to play with all right so i've covered up the bike where i don't want any of the uh, dust to go onto and we're ready to now start sanding this area all right guys so i've got a couple of different grits of uh, sanding paper i've got a sanding block as well and i really don't like the idea of any of that dust going into my eyes or my lungs so i've got my goggles i'm gonna slap this on as well and let's begin Oh guys so as you can see um i've sanded off all the decals all the way around as you can see all this uh, white powdery stuff is still coming off that's the uh, clear coat the lacquer what i'm going to do is continue sanding very lightly 
all the way around until uh, the uh, color of this powder starts getting a bit dark. Once it starts getting dark, uh, that means we've gone down to the carbon fiber itself and uh, that's what we want to do all the way around. Oh, so check this out. Um, I've sanded down this bit here. It's starting to get really dark, as you can see. That means we're down to fiber. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down with the alcohol wipe now. Let's see how it looks. It's all black, it's all carbon. Oh, better look at the crack now. So our repair strips are going to be 48 millimeters wide with the crack right in the middle. All right guys, so if we're going to do this properly, we need to uh, draw up a plan. We don't want to just stick pieces of carbon fiber anyhow we want and uh, just hope for the best. As you can see here, I've drawn out some lines. This is uh, representing the, uh, the unidirectional carbon fiber sheet that I'm going to be using. Uh, but we don't want to just cut out straight pieces so that you got the uh, carbon fiber going in a straight line uh, along the uh, crack so when we do cut it we're going to cut it in this direction we're going to get a 90 degree angle so let's just assume that is a 90 90 degree angle like so and we're going to have two pieces of that so then what we're going to do is cut the strips out like so. So then we're going to have two strips of uh, carbon fiber. And then when we apply this one, we're going to put the other one like this. And then as you can see, put that up against the light. We're going to have a mesh like this for maximum strength. Okay, so this is my final template. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out now. All right, so we've got our template and I've got it sitting at a roughly 90 degree angle. And uh, this is what we need to cut out. All right, so another thing we're gonna do now is uh, take off the masking tape from around the area we're gonna be working on. And we're gonna be using electrical tape. And hopefully this should be easier to peel off uh, afterwards. Giving it a final clean with an alcohol wipe. All right guys, so I've got the fibers ready and prepped. I've got the bike ready and prepped. So now's the time to mix up our epoxy resin with the hardener. All right guys, so I'm gonna mix up 30 grams of uh, epoxy resin uh, with nine grams of uh, hardener. Start off around the edges. Go ahead and put the plastic over the top. And hopefully that should make it slightly easier for me to cut out the piece that I need. So now I'm going to apply some of the uh, resin to the actual frame. Stick it on like a sticker, basically. And before you go over the other side, you need to take this plastic off. Like so. 
So take that off. Just go ahead and wrap that around. Get it nice and tight. Now I'm going to go and get, get the other piece. Remembering to apply this the other way around. So it crisscrosses. Go ahead and take the uh, back piece of plastic off. And crisscross it like so. No. Go ahead and wrap that around. Get that nice and tight. And now we need to just tape this up. So this is where we're going to use the electrical tape. So we're going to use the non-sticky side. This could be quite difficult. I'll try and get it tight as possible. see some of the uh, excess resin pouring out there now you can see go ahead and wipe off the excess resin that's what we want And I'm going to just give it a couple of wraps. So I'll get it tight now. Alright guys, so check this out. This is what we've got. Um, this is feeling really solid. I'm quite satisfied with that um, These lines you see is just from the resin when we wrapped it with the tape um, So now we're gonna go ahead and sand this down and uh, get it nice and smooth and uh, Then we'll decide whether we're gonna use the uh, 3k the plain weave or not because it's already looking pretty thick It's looking it's feeling pretty solid. I don't want to just make this any thicker for no reason uh, So we're gonna go ahead and sand this down and then we'll decide what we do Alright guys, so check this out, sanded it down, dry then wet, and this is how it's looking right now. Not a bad looking plaster in my opinion, it's really solid, looks pretty decent. Um, so I've decided not to go with the uh, 3k plane weave, because it's already thick enough, plenty strong enough. So let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe guys, I'd really appreciate that. So until next time, peace.